Are you ready to take it to a new level? Yeah. And yeah. right, let's get fired up. All right, so <laughs> what does productivity look like? Hey everybody, it's George Carroll. Welcome to this week's Motivational Minutes. And in this week's Motivational Minutes, we're talking about the enemy of the innovative spirit. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. So this clip that I'm going to share with you is a two and a half to three minute clip, and it comes from a two hour keynote presentation that I did for an organization called Storm. Storm is the bowling company. They understand the importance of innovation. Peter Drucker, one of the great business leaders of our time, said that business is two things marketing and innovation. And if you're an entrepreneur, you're a change agent, if you're a business person, you know that you always have to be constantly uh, letting your computer make weird noises and constantly innovating your products and innovating your services so that you match and meet the demands of the marketplace of your clients and your customers. Otherwise, we get left behind. And so this two and a half minute clip is on my model of optimum performance and productivity. And without further ado, off we go. Don't get too comfortable. Everybody do, put your hand on your chin like this and say, hmm, it's good to be curious, isn't it? Don't get too comfortable and here's why. How many remember Blockbuster Video? <laughs> oh man, they were the leaders, right, in their industry. They were one of the first larger companies to come out and do rental videos, right? And then what happened? They got te technology change, they got too comfortable, and as a result of the demand for streaming online, and remember Redbox came out, totally changed the industry. They put more locations in more places by putting those kiosks in there. They dropped the charges, and pretty soon, people stopped going to Blockbuster. And you even remember, Blockbuster tried to follow suit Redbox with Redbox, didn't they? They tried to come out there with their own little Redbox, but it didn't work. They were too late because they were too comfortable with where they were. And now, I don't even know if there's any Blockbusters open, are there? You might recognize this brand. How many of you know McDonald's? Yeah. McDonald's, top three recognized brands in the world, their sales have plummeted over the last few years as a result of them being too comfortable. In fact, they will close this year anywhere from 700 to 900 stores. Good. <laughs> yeah, I agree, I agree. And the reason is because there is such a demand from the world and from people to know what's in our food supply. And you notice they're trying to make a shift, but it might be too late. We'll see in the next few years what happens, but they've come out with an avocado cheeseburger. Oh, they're really making the moves, aren't they? <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but when you get too comfortable and you're not paying attention to the demands of what the world is looking for, then you tend to fall behind. All right, and so comfort, remember this, write it down, remember this somewhere in your universe that comfort is the enemy of innovation. <laughs>